Now let us discuss question number 28, exercise 15.4, chapter 15. In triangle ABC, L and M are points on AB and AC respectively such that LM is parallel to BC. Prove that area of triangle LCM is equal to area of triangle LBM. Second, area of triangle LBC is equal to area of triangle MBC. Area of triangle ABM is equal to area of triangle ACM and area of triangle LOB is equal to area of triangle MOC. Now, let us solve this solution. Given that in triangle ABC, LM is parallel to BC. So, let us consider triangle ABC in which LM is parallel to BC. Let us join BM and LC and they intersect at O. Now, here in the first proof, he asked us to prove that area of triangle LCM is equal to area of triangle LBM. If we consider triangle LCM and triangle LBM or two triangles here, that is triangle. LCM and triangle LBM, two triangles lie between parallel lines LM parallel to BC and on common base LM. We know that area of triangles lying between the two common parallels and with a common base or equal. Therefore, here area of triangle LCM will be equal to area of triangle LBM. This is what the first proof we required. In the second, he asked us to prove that area of triangle LBC is equal to area of triangle MBC. Here, if we observe triangle LBC, that is here, LBC and triangle BMC or MCB lie between two parallels, that is LM and BC with common base BC. We know that two triangles lying in between the common parallels and with a common base will have the areas equal. Therefore here area of triangle LBC is equal to area of triangle MBC. Let this be a second proof. Now consider the first proof that is area of triangle LCM is equal to area of triangle LBM. On the both sides, add the area of triangle ALM that is area of triangle LCM plus area of triangle ALM is equal to area of triangle LBM plus area of triangle ALM which implies here, by adding area of triangle LCM to area of triangle AM, ALM, we get the total area of triangle ALC. Therefore, here we can write area of triangle LCM plus area of triangle AM, ALM is nothing but area of triangle ALC, which is equal to here again area of triangle LBM plus area of triangle ALM is equal to total area covered by triangle ABM that is area of triangle ABM. Therefore here we got area of triangle ALC is equal to area of triangle ABM which can be written as area of triangle ABM is equal to area of triangle ALC can be also written as triangle ACL. This is the third proof we required. Now, in order to prove the fourth one, consider the second proof that area of triangle LBC is equal to area of triangle MBC. As in the fourth proof, if we observe the first term, we need to get the triangle LOB. So here, in order to get the triangle LOB, we need to subtract from LBC triangle, the triangle BOC. So, let us subtract 
triangle BOC from both sides then we get area of triangle LBC minus area of triangle BOC is equal to area of triangle MBC minus area of triangle BOC which implies area of triangle LBC minus area of triangle BOC from the figure we get the area of triangle LOB that will be equal to area of triangle MBC minus area of triangle BOC is nothing but this region that is area of triangle MOC this is what the fourth proof we require